Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel. Today we've got some absolutely massive news about Planet Zoo. We are getting our first uh, first ever specifically animal-based DLC coming on the 30th of March and this is going to be the Southeast Asian pack. This is something I've been absolutely wanting for the longest time. These animals are some of my favorite animals, period, and I am just so thrilled that this is something we're gonna be getting now. This is genuinely like, I cannot contain my excitement right now. This is such amazing news, basically. So, let's just, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna play the trailer right now so you guys can watch it. And before I do, gotta say, the people who like make these trailers, the music, incredible. So good, like, absolutely brings the hype, like really good job on the music guys and also just just yeah here you go check it out and i'll meet you back here Alright, here we are back in the video and that was a beautiful trailer, so well made. Their yeah, trailers are always so good, the music always on point. And yeah, let's talk about this pack. So it is a new type of pack, this is purely an animal based pack. I believe we might have some new enrichment items but we don't have like new building sets or anything. As far as I know anyways, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And I really, I love the, the vibe of this. We're getting eight new animals, which is crazy. All our previous pack had a maximum of five with an exhibit animal. Now we have eight and seven habitat animals. Not only seven habitat animals, but seven, all of which are incredible and very unique animals. So, oh boy, let's just get into this. So we're getting some incredible new animals. We're getting the clouded leopard, the sun bear, the proboscis monkey, the binturong, the Malayan Tapir, the Usuri Dol, uh, the North Sulawesi Babirusa, and the Giant Malaysian Leaf Insect. Now, uh, some of you might know I'm actually from Malaysia, I've lived there my whole life, I've only recently moved to the UK, but um, up, like, for most of my life I lived in Malaysia, and I've seen a lot of these animals in the wild. Uh, proboscis monkeys I've seen in Borneo, uh, Malaysian Leaf Insects, very familiar with them, um, I've even had the chance once to go into an enclosure with a sun bear while I was interning with a documentary company last year. That was incredible. Um, but these animals are all incredible, incredible animals. The clouded leopard is probably one of my favorite big cats. The sun bear is one of the most bizarre bears and yet is one of my absolute favorites. What a beautiful animal. Like, look at these screenshots. Gorgeous. And the cubs. Ah, so beautiful. And the um, the proboscis monkey, easily one of my favorite primates. Uh, I used to visit Borneo quite often when I was younger um, with my family and proboscis monkeys were just such a common sight, especially along the Kinabatangan River, which is a river we used to go to a lot. It's the longest in northern Borneo, which is also a state of Malaysia, uh, known as Sabah. So that's pretty cool. The Binturong, um, also known as the bear cat, is another really cool animal. Very unique, very unique cre uh, creature. There's n I don't think we really have anything in the game that looks like it, besides very vaguely the red panda kind of looks like it, but these guys are so unique and very cool. And they have like this really, they just there's so much interesting things about them. Like <laughs> they're, they're very, very cool animals. Um, I've seen them in zoos quite often. And uh, I definitely think they're, they're very, very worth uh, having in the game. Uh, we also have the Malayan Tapir. This is probably the one animal that's less unique because we already have a Tapir. Um, I've had the chance to interact with these animals quite up close too um, when I was film when I was working on that documentary internship. Um, they're much bigger than you might expect. Like you think that Tapir are relatively small animals. The Malayan Tapir is huge. Like they would come up to relatively about head height, like the big animals. The Usuri Dole is the one I'm least familiar with. In fact, this is the one animal I had to Google because I actually didn't, I have not heard of it. So it's very interesting. It seems to be a canine of some, uh, some description. It is very beautiful looking, very unique looking as well. So very excited to have that. 
Uh, we'll be getting the Babirusa, which is such a fascinating animal, by the way. It looks like a wild boar, but hairless. They're also known as deer pigs. And they have this really unique facial structure where they have tusks that actually grow up through the, root, uh, through the roots of their mouths, which like straight through the bone. It's insane. Such a fascinating creature. And I've seen them in zoos quite often, uh, most notably, uh, you know, I used to like sit by their habitat in Singapore Zoo just watching them for ages because they're quite fun to watch. They just are super interesting. That's all the habitat animals we're getting, which is, again, seven. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you tell by the tone of my voice how excited I am? But And the last one, of course, is the giant Malaysian leaf insect. That's the exhibit animal, one of which I am familiar with when I was a kid. In fact, I don't know if I could find the photos, but when I was a child, like really young child, we went up to some highlands in Malaysia and there were leaf insects and I remember putting them in my hands and stuff. They're very cool animals and if you want, you can actually get them as pets, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, oh my god, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what we're getting. Um, the news dropped this morning and I thought, let's just make this uh, video really quick to get that out there and uh, I am, I am thrilled. I am so thrilled. Like. I'm just happy that we have this representation of the wildlife back where um, I used to live. Wildlife that I personally am such a big fan of and these are just beautiful animals and I think they're really gonna like, um, I don't know, there's just so much potential here for really cool habitats, the proboscis monkeys live in such big colonies in the tropics, it's also nice to have another type of monkey. The clouded leopards would be so cool giving them lots of arboreal space. The sun bear, unlike any bear we have in the game, they're weird. Like, they're lovely animals, but they do look like a person in a bear suit. They're so bizarre, but very, very cool. Oh, I'm just... I'm so ready for this. But that's pretty much it. Just a very short video covering all of this and just talking about how incredibly excited I am. You can expect lots of new videos coming uh, after I get the pack on the 30th of March. So that, we, you know, I can give you guys a good look at these animals, build habitats for them. It might even give me a lot of incentive to go back to my tropical park, Sanikov land, to build habitats there. But of course, a lot of these animals will go into my current park build, which is um, October Lake as well, because, you know, why not? Especially with the sun bear and stuff, I think it'd be pretty cool. And of course, we'll go back to Sanikov land for some of the other animals as well, but just so thoroughly excited. Uh, I was surprised we didn't get an animal that could dive because I thought they would not make use of the diving mechanics, but regardless, it's very cool and I'm very happy to get this. So that's pretty much all. Oh, also, we're getting a brand new time scenario, which is set in Perak, Malaysia, which is, again, somewhere I'm very familiar with. I've literally been there so many times. I'm pretty sure some of my relatives live there. So, <laughs> very, yeah, it's just, it's, you know, hitting weirdly close to home in not a bad way at all. So, yeah. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Please do like the video if you did like it. Comment down below and tell me what your favorite part of the pack is. What's your favorite animal here? Because we've got some incredible ones. Out of this pack, I'd have to say my personal favorite. Oh, I couldn't even choose, honestly. The clouded leopard. The sun, literally all of them are really cool. I would maybe have to say the sun bear, specifically because they're so weird. But they're all amazing animals and I'm so excited. So yeah. Do subscribe for more Planet Zoo content, of course, I release uh, speed builds every Wednesday at 5pm and of course we'll probably get more once this pack comes out, so look forward to that. And uh, before I leave, I'll just play the trailer for you one more time because it's incredible. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!